What's up, y'all? It's the real J. Oh, no. Mama, be quiet. Oh, you know what? I'm not even about to do it for this. Because I be the baddie beat. Bobby Tate's banging body beat. Everybody beat. On my dick. Yo, I got a beat. What's up, y'all? It's the real J. Poo, and I did say the real J. Poo. Oh, <sighs> Anyways, so if you want to see how I achieve this look, I don't. <laughs> Bro, mama, please stop talking. Like, it's not even funny no more. I done messed up my hair. If you want to see how I achieve this look, go ahead and keep watching the video. And if you haven't already, like, comment, and subscribe, sis. Okay? Hold on. That's right. Thank you for watching. So right now, I'm just braiding my hair into two braids just so that it'll be flat up under the wig cap, which I'll be putting on after this and you can get wig caps from the beauty supply they're only two for a dollar mostly well the beauty supply i shop at so so now i'll be taking the wild growth oil and putting it up under so my hair will grow and then i'm gonna brush my edges back and put a little bit of eco styling gel on it to keep the edges flat up under the cap. So now I'm going to be spraying my edges with the got to be spray and then I'm going to let it dry on cold with the blow dryer. I would say I blow dry it about like five minutes straight, but I literally set it down on the ironing board and let it like face me. I'm cutting around the ears so that like the spot near my edges, near my ears will like flatten out right there so that it won't rip out my edges. And then I'm spraying a lot of spray so that I don't know, to be honest. It just seems like the more, the better, you know? So now I'm starting to glue my tracks on and I'm literally doing three dots, like one on the side, middle, and the other side. And I'm starting with the longest inch first. I always start with your longest inch and my longest inch is a 22. And I'm flat ironing in between so that it'll be done faster to me. So now I'm using the got to be glued gel, I guess, and putting it on my edges so that it'll dry up a little bit faster. And of course, this whole time I have the blow dryer on cool and it's drying up my edges. So this is the frontal, the same frontal I've been using. I dyed the front of it so my bangs will come out cute. And yeah, I'm just combing it out so it can be, you know, together. So now that it's dried up, I'm just gonna cut it off clearly and get it as close as possible as clean cut as I can.
Canal 2 Code. So now I'm going to be using the got to be on my edges so that when I put the frontal down it's basically like an adhesive glue but it's more of a protective one. So now I'll be using my foundation and putting it on my cap so that it'll blend in with my skin. And then after this, I'll be applying the guys to be on my edges again. I'm gonna be applying the foundation to my frontal as well and blending it in so it actually looks like it's coming from my scalp. So right now when I was combing the frontal it was like extra pieces of delay so I'm just cutting those pieces off because there's just no reason to have them. It's just a lace part for no reason. Okay, now I'm just applying the frontal, but it was kind of hard because some of the pieces had dried up, so I had to like reapply some more of the got to be on there. But I'm basically just pressing it on really hard with my fingers. And then after this, I'm gonna be putting a scarf on so that it'll stay on. And I'm just leaving the scarf on for about like 10 minutes. Okay, after this, I had added more tracks off camera. So, but now I'm just taking my scarf off and fixing up the frontal basically. And I'm just making sure it's all evenly parted. So when I cut the bangs, it'll look evenly distributed if that makes sense now i'm just going in with my electric pressing comb and making sure it's just all flat at the top because it looked like a mountain now i'm just sectioning off my bangs and i'm about to start doing the half up part and just making sure it's just all evenly distributed between the tracks and the frontal and then i'm just going to braid it up just to keep it separated my frontal kept coming up all throughout this video so like you'll see me applying the got to be a couple of times because i didn't leave the scarf on long enough at this point i'm just making sure everything is flat so i'm undoing this braid just to make sure you know the bangs are looking flat you know just making sure it looks like it's coming out my scalp okay i'll be taking this mousse from argan oil and putting it on my hair so it can like flatten it out and make it look more sleek i guess you could say and then i'll be putting the pressing comb on top of it so that it'll flatten it out So now 
now I'm just taking pieces from the frontal and laying them down so it can like blend in, I guess you could say, so you can't see my wig cap and it'll look more natural. So now I'm just going to take pieces from the outer layer of the frontal and glue the outside of it so that it'll lay flatter because it just kept coming up and I was just getting irritated so... So now I'm just combing my hair into the half up, half down. I'm making sure all the pieces are in there so they look as straight as possible with the comb, the electric comb again. And then I'm putting some more mousse on there so it'll look flatter and flatten it out. And I'm just going to twist the ponytail into a bun so when I cut the bangs, I won't make a mistake and cut that. Now I'm just about to cut the bangs by twisting it and then I'll cut it and then it was kind of too much over my eyes so I ended up cutting it some more. I'll be using my eco styling gel and putting it on my edges to do the baby hairs girl need them edges okay <laughs> Yes, I know you can see my wig cap under there. I don't care.
I'm just taking the mousse again, make sure everything is laying flat. By the way, thank you guys for watching this whole video. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, like I said before. My pony a little tilted and my bangs a little cricket, but I don't really care. I sound dumb. This is cute. I look like I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. It's a blessing. Peeped a lot of niggas ain't gang. They just come around me for gang. Doing me, I'm in my own.